beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Eleftheria and I'm a front-end developer. Today we are continuing working with the daily UI challenge and I'm currently on day 67. One more time I decided to combine some projects all together so we are going to do from day 67 to day um, 71. We have a bunch of things to do but I guess that this is nothing new, there is nothing new. We will combine some things that we saw in previous projects so I've already have opened the projects that we are going to be using for this one and I'm pretty sure that the final result is going to be something that you will really like. Okay, so let's see what we have for today. Day 67 it's a hotel booking, day 68 a flight search and we are going to do this with buttons and then for day 69 we have the trending day 70 event listing day 71 is a schedule so I'm thinking of doing something like um, a page or a phone app that it will be for booking hotels and searching for flights but also it will show you some cool destinations and some events um, and the schedule for these events that you can do on these destinations I hope that everything was clear, but if it wasn't clear, um, we are going to see everything in a bit. I would really like to remind you that please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. And in the description box you will find every link that I'm going to be using for this project, as well as two links, one for the code pen, so you can have the exact project, and another one for my GitHub account, so maybe you're not using code pattern but you can still find the project on github thank you very much and let's start so i will start from today's theme which is this line right here but then we are going to the working area which is where we are going to be writing everything in the working area i've already created a toolbar which is this upper part right here with the next destination and after that i have an empty content which closes right here and it has a start with a height of 500 pixels after that i just have a button we are going to change that in a bit but i've already created a lot of buttons so i'm pretty sure you know how to do that Let's go to the CSS. My CSS is very minimalistic, uh, although quite playful. I really like the background that we created two projects ago and I thought that I could keep it. Um, other than that, in the JavaScript I have my app with ng material, messages and SVG asset cache and a config file on the controller with subheader app controller and you can find that controller uh in this area right here okay i think that now it's the time to start working i will go to day 25 again you will find this link in the description box and here we did something that i like and i think i want to recreate so what i'm going to do is going to the html and i have the content here so very quickly i'm going to copy that and paste it right here under the trending destinations okay and i will change quite a few things but before i do that i will also go to the javascript and i will take this scope going to the javascript and again taking this scope okay so here uh, let's start changing a few things I have the the empty content then I think that I will need to have like a section okay let's do it like that okay um, after the section I can have maybe like an MD subheader header okay and 
here I will have like a class with MD primary. Okay, and inside here I will write primary destinations. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, of course we are going to change the images, so don't worry about that. But let's keep going for the MD list, like even like this. Uh, MD list item class, okay, we'll keep that. MG repair, no, I will change that. Let's do it message in messages, okay. And I don't want the ng click, we will we won't do anything on click. All right, after that, what else do I want? I do want an image, but this time it will be in, come on, and message. And uh, I will name it destination. So, so far I don't have that. So you won't see anything, but later we are going to do that. As for the class, I'm going to name it also destination. And I think that this should also change to message. Uh, okay, what else do I want? Maybe I can do it like that. And again, I will fill all this in a bit. Okay, so then I have my div, md list item text and layout of column, okay. All right, now inside here, I'm going to change again a few things. Okay, the first thing that I want is to have a message dot country. Then the other thing that I want is, oh, let me delete that one. Okay, so... I will have a message city and here can have like a message dot best for and this div closes okay and maybe maybe <laughs> I'm okay um Above the MD list item, I'm going to add also an MD divider, divider, okay, like that. And now I think I'm cool, but the other thing that I really have to do is to go to the JavaScript and change this scope. So I'm going to pause really quickly the video here in order to change the messages and all these things. All right, guys, and I am back for the JavaScript part. And this time we have the scope messages. Maybe I can leave a line here. And you can see that I have a destination, a country, city, best for and nodes. We haven't used nodes so far, but we are going to do that in a bit. So uh, in the destination, I have added the images. And for the images, I found all of them from Unsplash, you can like tap here something and you will find amazing pictures. So I would highly recommend using Unsplash. Uh, other than that, I have the country, uh, best for and some notes. And as you can see, I have everything here. These things are like quite a lot. So you're going back to the CSS to change or not to change but to add the class destination that we actually saw previously and for the destination I'm going to have width with 100 pixels and then we're going to have height with uh, maybe 110 pixels and last but not least a padding with 6 pixels and 2 pixels. All right, now you can also see everything because before the images were above the other information. So for my trending destination, I'm going to have an image, then a country, a city, and what it's best known for. But I need to do something similar for the event listing and schedule. So let's also do that one really, really quickly. 
So I have another section with MD subheater class and this time it's things to do. Things to do will include the event listing and the schedule. This time I have like the same things for the image but I have only country and notes whereas notes I didn't have them before. So like for example the Netherlands and schedule these things for Greece, schedule these things, this is going to be our schedule and this is going to be like the event. Great! So what else do I need? I need to do the hotel booking and the flight search. Okay, let's start working on these two things. I will create another button here. Uh, I will name one like hotels and the other one like flights. Okay, and I will go also like to the ng click event and here I would like to remind you something that we did on day 16 and i've used this example quite a lot of times because it's super useful but on day 16 we had a button and when we were clicking on it a form was opening so i will try to do something very very similar um also this link will be in the description box below Okay, so I will have my ng click. The first one is going to say something like um, show hotels, and the other one is going to say show flights. So let's go again on day 16. So from here, we are going to take this thing and this thing. Okay. I'm going to minimize the messages. This time it's not show advanced, but it's show hotels. And I'm going to make this one. I'm going back to day 16 and I will see, okay, the script. I'm going to copy that and paste it after this line right here cool uh for us this is dialogue one this is not going to work very properly yet oops okay because we have to change this information right here we're talking about hotels so name and client email isn't really working for us so very quickly i'm going to add that information you will see that i have everything okay um I have like country and city that you might be searching. I have the check-in date for the hotel, which is in a kind of type of data. So you can have this thing right here. I have how many adults or kids want to be here. And this is a numeric value. And of course, the visitor's email. Last but not least, I accept the terms of service and search for hotels. So that's it for here. I'm going to do the same for the flights. So after that, I'm going to paste this thing right here with the dialog 2. Let's also click here on flights. Um, I didn't add the JavaScript part. So let me really quickly also do that. We have show hotels. Copy this one. Paste it one more time to show light and make the dialogue of two All right clicking on flights and this time i have from airport from which one do you want to start to which one do you want to go and again the departure date and the arrival date how many adults and kids are going to be traveling and these informations are the same so i have visitors email and i accept the terms of service that's it guys and that was our final result i really hope you like it it was a fun project we did the hotels the flights and of course like this scroll bar with the destination and the things to do in each destinations 
Um, if you like this project, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. And again, in the description box, you will find all the information that you may need. If you have any question, leave a comment below. And I wish you an amazing, amazing day. See you really soon. Bye.